Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about the sudden cut in recording. That was a slight computer problem on my end. But I'm gonna take these pneumatic tubes and get a pipe going from somewhere below. But gonna run a pipe underneath every one of my chests. This mining drill can get slightly annoying with how fast it digs dirt. But other than that, I have no real issues with it. So, gonna take the tubing, place myself inside of it, and gonna see if I don't have enough. And I'm gonna make some more. Oh. Oh well. Let's go with that for now. Just getting a tube under all my chests, like I said, and then I'll be back. Hey guys, I got another thing to make. Gonna take three sticks, two iron, and two diamond to get myself the diamond handsaw, which is useful because you can create cobblestone slabs, and with those, you can create a whole bunch of other things, but I'm gonna need them so that I can make something using my alloy furnace. Do I have any sand somewhere? Sand. Gonna throw my nick white in there. Too much cobble and no sand. Oh well. Gonna be back in a bit because I need a few more resources that I forgot to grab. Hey guys, now that I got the needed materials, gonna throw 16 sand, 16 coal in my alloy furnace, and let's go ahead and get myself a silicon buell. Then, with my diamond handsaw, gonna get 16 silicon wafers, and these wafers are used to make stuff hmm like <laughs> nick white nick white nick white so let's go with eight they're used to make pretty neat little things such as wait for my game to update Thermal piles, solar panels, white sensors, and solar panels are the ones I'm going to be using them for. And the blue alloy ingot I'm going to use in my, or use to make a blue electric alloy furnace once I get a few solar panels, or at least one. So, be back in a bit. Hey guys, because I have so much cobble, I'm gonna make myself another little item. Got myself a compressor. Gonna grab some dirt, refined iron, and a piece of glowstone to get myself the recycler. It requires power, so gonna get a glass fiber cable to hook it up to my power system and throw some dirt in here because that's what's on me and it does oh there we go this can be used to recycle your cobblestone 
So if you have a huge amount of cobblestone, like I seem to have, you can use it to shrink it down and recycle that cobblestone and produce scrap, which will be used later on. Be back in a bit once I get everything set up. Hey guys, I got another thing to craft as usual, but this time it's a little different than normal. Gonna go like this to get myself the filter, and I'm gonna upgrade that filter like so to get myself a sorting machine. So the sorting machine is useful because he can pull items out of a chest and put them into a chest or anything with an inventory that's connected to these tubes and colored for specifics. So where should I place this? I'm thinking right here and I'm gonna need a chest uh, there we go random chest then I'm gonna use this chest as my drop box Over here is the gauges for power. This is continuous mode and it will go through every stack and it has to pull out for it to continue on to the next stack. Same thing. This is it pulls out whatever it can. This is the timing how it works I prefer that one left and right click changes the colors of these so you can have them go to specific pipes and I'm gonna create a little trench in my floor so that I can run the tubes be back in a bit Hey guys, got another thing that I'd like to build. I think it'll be fairly useful. Made myself some advanced alloy, which is a mixed metal ingot in the compressor to get advanced alloy. And for a mixed metal ingot, you need three refined iron, three bronze, and three tin to get two of the mixed metal ingots. Uh, redstone. Then, gonna grab a few things from that chest and make myself an electronic circuit. Yeah, there we go. Then, gonna upgrade that electronic circuit. to get myself the advanced circuit. Gonna take two diamonds, surround each diamond with eight redstone to get myself two energy crystals. Okay, I feel like I have extra redstone somewhere. Gonna place my advanced circuit here. One energy crystal there and there. My four advanced alloy like so, and a piece of redstone to get myself the mining laser. The mining laser is pretty cool because holding M right click changes the mode and my personal favorite is horizontal because it's useful for mining. Gonna get my lap back on and I'm gonna go down a tunnel somewhere.
right here. So right click and the laser that is shot out from the mining laser travels in a straight line from where you shot it. So if I shot it this way, it would go in a straight line that way, horizontally. So useful for digging straight tunnels quickly and some other modes like superheat will with say that give me the ingot if I could find it there we go give me the ingot instead of the actual ore but it uses some of the electricity and the scatter mode which is pretty cool I'll use it over here at this wall the scatter mode is kinda devastating because it shoots out a lot of different little mining lasers to just mine and then explosive gonna shoot this wall also pretty devastating and an explosion will cause the items of a previous explosion to disappear mining is for small kinda little digs it will travel any direction unlike horizontal low focus is for removing one block at a time so precision mining you could say long range is long range <laughs> I was thinking after I shot that I wonder if it'll make it good thing it did then we're back to horizontal and gonna see that the angle is too steep to dig at and now we got ourselves a way to collect the previous materials oh fun lava but that's a mining laser in a nutshell and it does have to be powered by some kind of electricity EU actually but as you can see just this demonstration of it drained my lap pack so I'm gonna go and charge that and be back in a bit hey guys I'm back and it's time for a trip to the nether hey guys I'm back and it's time for a trip to the nether oh, fair. on this trip I'm hoping to find a nether fortress and I just need some blaze lower rods and some nether wart oh let's put my jetpack back on I'm gonna try and conserve my jetpack power because I cannot recharge it in the nether due to there being no solar panels or no sunlight for solar panels so I'll just keep running in this direction for a while and be back in a bit hey guys I'm back and I just found this about two minutes ago no, not two minutes ago. About two minutes after I stopped. So, just going through, trying to see what's in the fortress and just kind of get a general idea of its layout. Sweet, play spawner. Just what I was looking for. Okay. Let's 
some soul sand. I'll grab some of that because that'll be useful. Ooh. Ow. Thought the path continued, but nope. But I'll be back in a bit.